in the previous video in the signal sound system i have talked about how to convert a certain sequence it can be a unit step sequence impulse sequence or we can say it as a sample sequence and how this ram sequence are interrelated to one another and you can observe here this tell of n can also be written which can be converted from the unit step sequence like u of n minus u of n minus 1 from these two sequences unit step sequence we can actually get the impulse sequence or the sample sequence del of n is said as unit impulse sequence or we can say it as unit sample sequence and u on u of n is called as unit step sequence so this is how you can convert from the unit steps to the impulse step impulse sequence and when you talk about the u of n we can get that from the ram sequence that is r of n plus 1 minus of r of n for both this case we have this minus in between these two terms and same thing right here and also you can observe there is one gap difference between this term and this and right here so that is how i have remember so this is about how to convert or how to get one type of signal from another now if you talk about this del of n or del of t in time domain and we can actually get or we can convert this impulse signal because it is in time domain and this can be converted to u of t in time in time domain and this u of t can also be converted to this ramp signal and vice versa when you do integration with respect to time we get the unit step signal and when you do the same integration again we get the ramp signal and when you do the derivative of this ramp signal we get the unit step signal and again if you do the derivative of the unit step signal we get the impulse signal so this is how you can convert from one type of signal to another now let us talk about let's get into the property properties of impulse signal let's write let's start from here Now we know that from Dirac delta function right here which states that this del of t is going to have two types of amplitudes that is infinite and zero its amplitude is infinite when time equal to zero and it is zero when time is not equal to zero so this is when so this is how 
and also we have the combination of this and this integration that is starting from infinite to infinite del of t dt which is equals to 1 so this is present inside this property of impulse signal the first property is that the integration from minus infinite to infinite del of t dt is going to be 1 or we can also say it as 0 minus to 0 plus del of t dt is going to be equals to 1 so this is the first property coming to the next property it says that you can observe here at del of right here we have the continuous starting which starts from 0 minus to 0 plus so there exists a del of 0 but when you talk about the 0 minus to 0 del of t dt or you can say it as 0 to 0 plus del of t dt is going to be undefined so we cannot actually define the area upon this starting and stopping position stopping point of this horizontal axis that is time so right here we have this as undefined and the third property is that by looking into these two we can say it as both of them are equal and coming to the third property it is it says that this del of t is going to be equals to del of minus t so this is the third property is suppose del of 0 0.5 is equals to del of minus 0 0.5 so this actually gives the amplitude when the time is 0 0.5 and when the time is minus 0 0.5 at that case both these amplitudes will be equal so coming to the fourth property it says that 